already been? Been worried, see? I went into town. I slept at a mate. You could have run. Sorry. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine, Mum. Stop worrying. Whether you're 13 or 30, I'll never stop worrying. Once a parent, always a parent. Are you coming in? No, I think I'll make an early start at the factory. But I... Did, uh, did you two have a good time last night, then? What? You and Janice. You went out for a meal, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, it was fine, yeah. You should have stayed here. Dad cooked a really nice one. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Oh, don't be daft. She couldn't let Janice down, could she? You were upset. No, I wasn't. Oh, well, only over the burnt sausages. I hate it when you two fall out. Hey, well, listen, you stop worrying because we're fine now. Go clean your teeth, yeah? Are we? Are we fine? Yeah, of course we are. Well, I don't know what you're so worried about. She'll be fine. In Greece, on her own. <laughs> it's funny that, isn't it? People always say that. What? In Greece, when really they mean like a Greek island. Does it matter? Well, she's only going to Ali. Thingy, I love her. Maybe that's why, because they can't pronounce it. The point is... I it's win-win. Because she's going to have a brilliant time, and I'll get to keep running the salon. Oh, I might have known this was about you. Well, if she's got her heart set on it, then it will eat a stopper. Thank you. Well, thanks a lot, Nanette. Take care. I didn't think you were due back till next week. Uh, no, I wasn't. Well, John will be pleased. He's been wandering around like a lost soul while you've been gone. I don't suppose you've got time for a chat. Um. Oh, yeah, of course I have. You can even have a brew if you want. Oh. <laughs> with you in one minute. Thank you, it looks great. Take right. him along, Shirley. You can't, we're double booked. Hey, well, can... that's not my fault, David. Sort it out yourself. Hey, look, we can always leave it. No, no way, I'm glad of the break. Chaos without Audrey. Mm -hmm. And I've had to bring Liam with me, so I've got him to deal with and all. Yeah, hiya. So, was it a holiday or the rumours true? Why, what are the rumours? That you and John have fallen out. Oh, you can't cough round here without folk knowing. But, you're back, so does that mean you've made up? Well, I don't know about that. But I do know I'm pregnant. <gasps> you kidding? <laughs> no. Found out while I was away. Oh, blimey! Even that's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. It's just not very good timing, is it, with everything that's happened? Because I did think about leaving him. Were things really that bad? And when I found out I was pregnant, I even thought about, you know. Oh, fierce. But then I thought, no, I want this baby. Have you not shifted since this morning? I've already done half a day's work. Would you want a house point? No. I want you to clean yourself up. You stink. Fine. Okay, I will. On second thoughts, why don't you just go? You'll be doing us both a favour. I'm planning to. Eh? Some things I need to tell Fizz first. Like what? Just... stuff. What kind of stuff? I love you. Yeah. I'm sorry. I think she's heard it all before. No, other stuff. Stuff she hasn't heard. More excuses. If you think you can win around. No, I don't think that. Good. Because you should never have married her in the first place. What's so funny? I made an honest woman out of her. But she couldn't make an honest man out of me. Until now. You're losing it. Do you know that? You on your own? Car's gone to the trade for healthy lunch. Harry the dog. You want some? No, Tar. I take it you didn't get home last night. Sorry I went off the way I did. I just needed to get my head round it. I shouldn't have made her tell you like she did. 
It wasn't my place. How is she? I don't know. I haven't seen her. What, you haven't even spoken to her? I don't want to talk about Natasha. Well, you should. She's got it, you know. Yeah. So am I. Don't say that. You know I don't love her. I shouldn't have come. It doesn't have to change anything. We could still... No, there is no we, Nick. There never was. You're lying. Last night... Last night I was feeling sorry for myself and you made sure you were there. There was more to it than that. You know there was. Natasha is a really nice girl and she's carrying your baby. I know. I'm not how I used to be. You know, if she wants to keep her, I fully support her and the baby, She loves but... you. And I love... Don't. Please don't. We had our chance and we blew it. Yeah, but we could have a second chance. No, we couldn't. You're just trying to relive the past and you can't do that. I have moved on. I have my own life. I love Peter. Say it often enough and it might come true. How dare you? Who the hell do you think you are? You've been back all of five minutes and you think you can just pick up where you left off? Well, no, you can't. Peter and me have been through a lot. And okay, it might not all have been great, but you know what? It's the bad times that bind you together, that make you strong, that make you a family. Not that you know anything about that, because you're too busy running away at the first sign of trouble. So what do you want me to do, huh? Marry this girl, make the biggest mistake in my life just to prove to you I've grown up. I don't care what you do, that is the point. I have moved on, I have got my own life. Fine. Just, whatever you do, and however you decide to do it, just don't hurt her like you hurt me, okay? Tell me one thing. Would you still be saying this if Natasha wasn't pregnant? Yeah, I would. Tomorrow no, tomorrow's instead. no good. Hey, Ansel, your boss, remember? No, you're not. You're the boss's grandson. Right. I don't know what you're smirking at, because you have to cover for her. When's Audrey coming back? Well, never, according to me. Which means I'll be made permanent manager. No, if I buy this place first, you won't. What do you mean? Never. Well, she's still going to Ali... <sighs> Greece. On her own? Yes. Me, me mum tried to talk her out of it, but she's having none of it. I'll come back another day. Oh, but I'm nearly finished now, Rita. Oh, leave her. What do you want? Oh, what's this then? Service with a sneer? Oh, no. Your grand's not here. Well, I don't want to. I just want a dry trim for me anyway. I saw your sign outside. Uh, yeah, well, you should never have put that out. We're double booked as it is. Uh, no, it's all right. If you come back in about an hour, I should be able to squeeze you in. I think we can manage that, can't we, pal? Yeah, can I have one bit? No, you can't. Right, great. We'll see you in a bit. All right. Fizz? You're back? Yeah. I wish I'd known you were coming. I was going to clean the place up. Sorry. I don't care what the house looks like. We've got more important things to worry about. Yeah, I know. Look, I need to talk to you. Well, it'll have to wait. Sit down a minute. There's something I've got to say. Wonderful news. How, how far on are you? Twelve weeks. Twelve weeks? You never said. I wasn't sure I wanted you to know. No wonder you were so upset. Are you trying to say I was hormonal? No, no. Because I think I reacted quite well, considering. You did smash up Charlotte's house. Yeah, and I'd do it again if she ever comes near. She won't. But there wasn't anything going on. You do believe that? 
Yeah. Though there would have been if she'd had her way. And you still lied to me. I've added in my resignation. You said that before. Oh. I sent it. Recorded delivery so I could show you. If you came back. I'm not sure I would have come back if I wasn't pregnant. I know. I know I've put you through it. But honestly, I promise I I've changed. I will never lie to you again. I'll, I'll never do anything else without telling you, asking you, whatever. You said that before and all. But this time it's different. I know how close I was to losing you, and it made me realise my life is worth nothing without you. You're all that matters. I know you mean that now. But come next month, when everyone's back at school, you'll get that look in your eye. You'll be pacing up and down like a caged lion. I won't, I promise. I'll, I'll sweep streets, clean toilets, be a car park attendant, and I don't care. You're my world now. You and our baby. What were you going to tell me before? Oh, um, nothing. Nothing that matters now, anyway. Imagine. I'm going to be a dad. <laughs> No, she isn't. She's taking the afternoon off. Oh, right. Why do you want her anyway? I thought you dumped her. Yeah, well, we're getting back together. All right, she never said. Oh, she doesn't know yet. What's this? Is Master's voice? No, it's nothing like that. I just wanted to ask if she'd have me back. Yeah, well, not if she's got any sense, she won't. I suppose you're right. She'd be stupid to give me another chance for the way I treated her. But I've got to ask. Oh, don't worry, she'll be made up. You think? Yes, I know she will. Look, why don't you um, try her at the flat? She might be moving stuff in there. I will. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Hey. Once they start walking, you can't hey. take your eyes off them for a second. Oh. And Tasha Blakeman? Do you know what the worst thing is? I'm starting to feel you were both right. I meant nothing more to him than all of his other clients. And you know why we said it? Because we were jealous. Of course you meant more to him. All oh, right, that's why I'm sat here on my own, is it? <laughs> hey, all those women, and he chose you. Mm. Maybe Gail was right. He could see a mug from a mile off. Now stop it. All right. He didn't stay, but he give it a go. Yeah. Do you know that's um, that's what he wrote on the back of a photo of us. He wrote, "I tried." There, you see. I just think he's one of them men who'll never settle. But if he could have, it would have been with you. It could have been wonderful, you know. It was wonderful. And that's what you have to remind yourself. It was a fantastic, heady romance. And there's a lot of women who'd kill for that. Yeah, I suppose. You're not still thinking about going to Wally What's It, are you? I am thinking about it, yeah. What would you do there on your own? Oh, I up all the Greek waiters. <laughs> I don't know. Tell you what, that salon of yours is a mess without you. Quarter of an hour I was kept waiting. Really? Mm. I gave up in the end. And there's no way I'm going back. Risking David with them scissors. Oh, no. So, do you want to lose my custom or not? There you are. Yeah, that's great, thanks. Cheers. Well, uh, if you want to leave a tip... Yeah, why not? Oh, thanks. Well, that'll be £10 and then anything you want to leave. Well, do you want a quarter fiver? Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. £15 then. Whoa, where are you going? You've not paid. Take it out of that money Audrey owes me. You what? You can't do that. Watch me. 
It's about time. What are you doing back? You're gonna be an uncle. You are? You're never pregnant? Yeah. Well, that was stupid, wasn't it? Hey! Two minutes ago, you were ready to dump him, and he were on the verge of going. Were you? Only because I thought you wanted me to. She did. No, I didn't. We just needed a bit of space, that's all. And everything is fine now. I give up. You're both mad. The pair of you. I'm going to watch Michael. It will be fine. I promise. It better be. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be with you in a minute. Sorry, he's teething. Right, don't worry yet. It'll come out in a few days, it just, if you keep rinsing it. On to new management, eh? Huh? Huh? Over my dead daughter. Oh, what have you done to Mrs Mulligan? Nothing. Look, uh, Maria, Maria, take that little lad in the back and get him yeah, but... Oh, no. Uh, you take over with the rollers, and after you've done that, you can sweep up all this hair. Don't worry, Mrs Mulligan, we'll have you looking for numbers. No time. No buds, just do it now. Move it. Oh, dear. You want a job doing, you know. Don't suppose he's gone? Only to the shop. Can't you be a little bit pleased for me? I'd be over the moon if it was anyone but him. Yeah, well, it is him. And he'll make a brilliant dad. Even you must see that. Is that why you're sticking with him? So you don't have to bring it up on your own? Cos I can help, you know. Chesney. We don't need him. We've managed before, haven't we? And I'm earning now. So when you give up work... Chesney. What? It's lovely of you, but it's not as simple as that. It could be. But I don't want it to be. I want this baby to have a proper family. With a mum and dad, yeah? Just like we always wanted. And besides, I love him. How can you? After the way he's messed you about. One day you'll understand when you meet the right person. One day you'll realise you haven't. Only then it'll be too late. Hey, love. Hey. Uh, right, I'll stick the kettle on. No, it's all right. Stay there. Oh, I'll join you. <laughs> Come here, mate. Can you get a haircut? For free and all? How good is that? How come? Oh, uh, I'll just use my charm. You, uh, OK? Yeah. Well, look, I'm sorry about last night. I shouldn't have stormed off like that. No, hey, look, the way I've been behaving, I, I don't blame you, I know, but you've been under a lot of pressure and I should have realised. What can't you do? You just get some makeup and I can watch my clothes, please. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I promise, from now on... Of me. Look, I'm sorry. There's nothing to say now. Yeah, there is. There's loads to say. Starting with Leanne. Look, whatever you think is going on isn't. We're just mates. Nothing more, I promise you. Yeah, well, it's none of my business. It's not like we're together anymore. I look, I've been doing a lot of thinking. I want us to get back together. What? I've treated you abysmally, and I know I shouldn't be asking, but can't we just try again? I don't believe this. How could you? How could you run off like that and make me... make me think that was it? That was the end? I know. I'm sorry. Anyway, you're only saying this because of the baby. You didn't want to know before. 
scared of commitment. And if it wasn't for the baby, well, I probably would keep running. But there is a baby. You know, and I'm glad. Because it's woken me up. It's made me realise what I really want. Come on. Don't cry. I thought we'd said all this before. No, I'm saying it now. I want you, me and the baby, I want us to be a family. Isn't that what you want? Of course it was. It is. Say it is what you want. It is what I want. Good. That's settled. Filming all the stuff we're doing at the moment, the lies just getting bigger and bigger, like this big black hole. So how will Natasha tell Nick the truth? Actress Rachel Leskovac discusses the challenging storyline in a video interview at itv.com slash Cory. Next, police camera action.